Top Shelf Bets, our favorite bets for Thursday, October the 13th. I'll let you start. Yeah, so my favorite bet on the whole slate, the Knights are minus 135 to cover the puck line versus Chicago as of Wednesday afternoon. And I think that's just a great number. The Knights clearly kicked it into gear as that game got going uh, last night. And I thought it was actually a pretty well-played game altogether. There were some miscues, but it was clearly fast pace and and a lot of things went right. I thought Logan Thompson had a pretty good night for giving up three goals against. So that's a good factor. Uh, Mark Stone obviously looked really good. So I think this is just going to be a spot where where Vegas, like they're going to want to come out of the gates hot. I don't see them, you know, playing and playing down to Chicago's level in this spot. Chicago play in in Colorado tonight, which will obviously be another fast paced, tough matchup. And I think we should just see the Knights take advantage of of exactly this spot. I liked what I saw some from Vegas and I'm high on the mentoring this year relative to the market. And I think this is just a good spot to to go right back in on them. Uh, so to me, this this is a spot where you can basically do whatever you want with like alternate lines, alternate team totals for the Knights. Let's just look at that defense for Chicago. I mean, we're talking about Jack Johnson, Jared Tenorti playing top four minutes with, with Seth Jones. It's it's going to be ugly. And then you look at the bottom six and there's guys who I've never heard of. It's it's really, really an ugly situation for Chicago, throwing the fact that Alex Stalock will likely be the starter with them on a back to back. And yeah, I think, you know, puck line, all puck line, team totals for, for Vegas, whatever. However, you, you goal get creative. first 10. Yeah, yeah goal I, first 10 I like for goal first 10 for Vegas. We've seen they over a relatively big sample size uh, at home, their whole history, they love to come out and score the first goal quick. So if you can get a decent number on them to score in the first 10, I like that. And then last night we were on Jack Eichel shots. If that holds near where it was, I think that's going to be another great number. If you can get over three and a half at plus money again, that's that's awesome because they're probably going to come out and dominate. I don't really see who's going to hold Eichel at bay. Should be lots of power time, power play time as well. So, yeah, I think public will be all over it, and I think they should be. I think that line's probably going to move. So just try to take what you can get early. For me. Uh, I like Calgary. They're minus 120 at home against the Stanley Cup champion Colorado Avalanche, who are even money underdogs. In my mind, these are the two best teams in the NHL. Uh, there is a little bit of a gap between Colorado and Calgary. But while the Avalanche got worse in the offseason, I think Calgary got better. The goaltending mismatches there because it'll probably be Pavel Franco with it looks like Georgiev's going to go Wednesday night. So we'll see Franco and whoever it is. It's Markstrom is the better goalie. Uh, at play here, we know about Calgary's defensive structure. So they'll be able to handle uh at least they project to be able to handle the Colorado's prolific offense so in a matchup where there's the margin between these two teams probably isn't as wide as the market suggested but in the preseason the fact that you get Calgary at home and Colorado coming in off a of back-to-back after they unfurled their Stanley Cup banner the night before I think it's a pretty good spot to back the flames uh I wouldn't go higher than minus 130 but I like it at minus 120 right now yeah, I don't like to get, you know, too much down the line of like motivation type narratives, but it does seem like a spot where just everything favors the flames and it could be hard for the abs to get up for what will surely be a, a tough, tough outing on a back to back to start the season. Like could be one of those things to the abs. How much do they really care compared to the flames right. to get up for this game and, and play at their highest level? 